What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Trinity Up and well welcome back to another amazing Yu-Gi-Oh video where today we're going to be going over Neos U Bell. This has been a deck I've been kind of working over this pretty much this past week. I even took it to locals where I even recorded a Yu-Gi-Oh Day uh, vlog for it basically. Uh, I'll have that uploaded pretty much shortly after I do this deck profile. But uh, before we get started into that, uh, if you are new to the channel, please destroy that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button for me today, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. And uh, also, shouts out to Dark Wave Works. She's also my sister who worked on the animation for the intro of my channel. Uh, it is almost near completion, but the animation for it is done. It is absolutely fantastic. So if you feel like seeing more of her work, uh, I'll have some links in the description for you guys. So. Uh, be sure to check out that amazing content. And also, I also have a second YouTube channel, Trinity Wolf XP. There is also a link down in the description below for that as well. If you're interested, please destroy the subscribe button today as well. And I would appreciate all your guys' support in helping that channel grow as well. But as far as this deck goes, um, it's been pretty interesting. I'm going to try to fly through the deck profile as quick as possible, try to explain some of these uh, cards and my choices on using them and uh, going over maybe one or two combos because the deck is pretty strange and it will take some time for some people to get used to and this is more of a fun deck but it is it, I guess you can try to make it as competitive as you want the deck list is weird it's like 48 cards I guess when the deck profile is done I'll probably say like two extra cards you could probably squeeze in there if you want to make it just a flat out 50 because I know 58 is probably a weird number for you guys. But anyway guys, uh, let's just go ahead and jump into this deck profile. All right you guys, so first things first, of course, we're gonna be going over the main deck. So our monster choices, obviously, we're gonna be playing two copies of Elemental Hero Neos one spirit of neos now i know when it comes to neos versions of the deck you want to play probably multiple spirit of neos just in case it ends up in your hand but i don't know it's either you don't really need it to kind of go off that much just based on however your hand is but there are a few times where i've had it in my hand i'm just like man i really need this card in the deck so just like i said before because this deck is uh 48 you could either choose to bump this up to two but I'll pretty much just tell your your main choices on bumping either cards up, maybe by one or taking something out and adding something in. But I've been enjoying One Spirit of Neo so far. Uh, it basically kind of feels like the increase of the this version of the deck where it's just like, you want to see it in your hand sometimes. And, well, I guess it's not like increase at all. You don't want to see this card at all in your hand. But sometimes it's good in your hand and sometimes it's not. Like sometimes it's great for the, the attack and the defense of the deck where like you know you're under attack you've got spirit of neos in your hand and spirit of Ubel in your hand it's just absolutely insane but of course moving on we got just two copies of elemental hero stratos two copies of shadow mist uh the reason why for this deck specifically i know people like to just play one mist when it comes to neos variants uh i really like having mist in my hand when it comes to having engaged neo space it just makes it such an easy cost to pay to where it's just like okay i'm sending these two cards I'm going to search something anyway after resolution. But, of course, one Blaze Man, one Liquid Soldier. And the one odd one is just the Vision Hero Vion. Because sometimes your hand might be weird to where uh, you need to, like, Foolish Burial Shadow Mist and you need access to another hero and polymerization. Sometimes Vion's just, like, the best way to get there other than Blaze Man. And then, of course, last for the heroes, uh, one Destiny Hero Plasma. And for our Neospatians, the best three ones you could possibly play, Dark Panther, Mole, and Dolphin. And then for our U-Bell line, we've got one D-Lotus, one Spirit of U-Bell, and one regular U-Bell. Spirit of U-Bell is also another one I would think of. You could probably bump up to two just to try to make your deck 50 you want. Uh, just to be able to just see more names. And so that way you make sure you always have a U-Bell monster in your deck to pop with Phantom. Uh, but that's it for our monsters, you guys. Now on to our spells. 
We got triple copies of Hero Lives, triple copies of Engage Neo Space, triple copies of Nightmare Throne, one e Emergency Call, one in Shuffle, one Foolish Burial, one Reinforcements of the Army, two copies of Polymerization, one Miracle Fusion, two copies of Fusion Deployment, one Fusion Destiny, one Neos Fusion, one Instant Contact, one Super Polymerization, one Contact Out, Nightmare Pain. And then as far as like our disruption goes, uh, two copies of Droplet, one Call by the Grave. And then for our traps, two Imperms, one Favorite Contact, and one Eternal Favorite. Now, of course, if you guys have more questions on certain cards in this deck, please let me know down in the uh, comment section below on what you're thinking. I'm gonna shuffle these up real quick before we get started with those combos, but anyway. Onto the extra deck when it comes to our Elemental Hero Fusions. One Sunrise, one Rage, one Absolute Zero, one Wake Up Your Elemental Hero, one Brave Neos for our uh, Neos Fusion targets, one Grand Neos, one Dark Neos, one Shining Neos Wingman, one Nebula Neos, one Cosmo Neos, one Neos Kluger, and then as our one Destiny Hero, Phoenix Enforcer. This is the only link I play is the Infernal Divisor. Just in case you don't run into any of the cards in your hand that fusion lock you and you still need access to multiple, you know, materials in your hand. Infernal Divisor is great because you can reveal so many cards in this deck. You can reveal Nebula Neos, Dark Neos, Kluger, and just anything that you possibly need. But you have to be aware if you do use Infernal Divisor, you will not be able to do any of your U-Bell summons, which really sucks, or special summon any of your Neospatians. But that's like the only thing to look out for. Uh, it's either this or Wonder Driver, but due to you being able to just grab access to your materials with so many monsters in the extra deck that have actually name listed materials on it, I just thought it was like probably the best one to possibly play. As far as our Ubell line goes, one Phantom and one Ubell the Loving Defender. All right, you guys, now we're gonna move on to like a combo portion of this video. All right, so we're gonna go over one. Let's see here. All right, we can possibly get there with this. So as far as this goes, Engage Neospace is very good. So let's just start off with just normal summoning Stratos using Stratos' effect, Shadow Mist. I don't know if we'll have access to our U-Bell line, but let's just see if we can get there. Now we'll use Engage Neospace, sending our Shadow Mist our Aqua Dolphin to the graveyard due to the fact that we have fusion deployment. We can have access to, that literally gives us access to either Panther or Mole, Neos, or Ubel. So the only one I don't have a target for is the Aqua Dolphin because normally it's like the easiest one to search for considering reinforcement of the army. Uh, you can send it with Neos Fusion to make Brave Neos. It's just a little bit easier to grab compared to the other two. So of course we resolve Engage Neo Space by special summoning Brave, I mean a Spirit of Neos, and then grabbing an additional Palmerization from the deck. Now that that's all in order, uh, Shadow Mist Chain Link One, Spirit of Neos Chain Link Two. But unless you really need this to go off, I would do Spirit of Neos Chain Link uh, One and then Shadow Mist Chain Link Two. So Shadow Mist will grab access to Liquid Soldier because we want to try to draw into our U-Bell cards. And then Spirit of Neos is going to actually grab us our Neos Fusion. That's the reason why I got it at one, because it's just easily searchable with Spirit. So we'll grab our Neos Fusion. Uh, use Spirit of Neos effect, tag himself out for regular Neos. Activate Polymerization, fusing away the Neos and the Liquid Soldier. First going into Sunrise, Liquid Chain Link 1, Sunrise Chain Link 2, grab Miracle Fusion, draw two cards, discard a card, engage Vion, unfortunately that's not really going to help us out, so let's discard the Engage Neo Space since we practically, as useless. So we have Dolphin Engrave. We can get access to another Spatian. So let's just go Miracle Fusion for 
for Mist and Neos. For Infernal Rage, using his effect to grab Favorite Contact. So this is basically just going to lead us up to our um, Cosmo Neos play, essentially. So we grab Favorite Contact. Now the fun part, we can actually use Fusion Deployment. We'll reveal a Grand Neos. Summon out Neospatian Grand Mole. That way we have access to the name. Now we'll use Infernal Rage Effect, tag himself out. For Brave Neos, we'll put him up in the extra EDZ just in case we run out of room. And now we'll go ahead and activate our Neos Fusion. Sending away our Panther and our Neos to summon out Dark Neos. And then use his effect, target himself to negate him so that way he'll constantly stay on the field so he won't get shuffled back into the extra deck. Set Favor Contact, set Droplet, pretty much end the turn. And then of course when their draw phase starts, we'll Favor Contact putting back our Banished Neos, Panther, uh, Mole, and Aqua Dolphin. They'll go back to the bottom of the deck. That'd be crazy if Favorite Contact went with the bottom of the deck as well. That'd be insane. And then, of course, you make Cosmo Neos activating the effect that they cannot respond to. And, you know, you pretty much just take the game from there because they can't activate any cards besides from Hand or Graveyard. But that's not very much plays that somebody can do considering that you're going to need to activate most of your things on the field. You got Sunrise giving everybody uh, a 600 attack boost. And then, you know, when you draw for turn, it's gonna be a call by the grave. Bion gives you access to everything. So the reason behind certain things, like having the Dark Neos as well, there are a few times where I use uh, Infernal Rage. Let's say I had Nightmare Pain, but no way to like actually get to my U-Bell stuff. So I could use Infernal Rage, tag itself out for Dark Neos, then activate the Nightmare Pain, use Nightmare Pain, pop the Dark Neos, get access to a U-Bell card. Or the funnest one I did, which I'm sure the ruling for this is justified because I had a few people at the shop that, you know, pretty much know their rulings really well is where I had Nightmare Pain along with um, Contact Out. So I use, I make the Dark Neos, I go Nightmare Pain, use the effect to pop a Dark. Then I go Contact out, putting Dark Neos back into the deck. Summoning Neos, that way I have the Neos body. And now I've got the Panther name, and then I use Pain to pop the Panther. Grab access to a U-Bell card. So not only did I just use Infernal Rage to give me access to these two, the only thing that sucks about Contact Out, it's not really searchable because it doesn't specifically list Elemental Hero in its name, like at Neos or anything. It just says Return uh, Return Neos Fusion Monster. It's literally all it says. So that's the only downside of, favorite, of Contact Out is that it's not searchable. But it really helps you get access to the names that you're looking for with Infernal Rage when you have to tag out. So if you need access to the two materials for this card, you can make them with Infernal Rage, contact out, literally get two bodies back onto the field. And it's just, I think it's absolutely phenomenal. But you can contact for pretty much any Neos monster, you know? So if you manage to get Nebula Neos, used his effect to draw some cards, contact out and made them, put them on the board and then shuffled them back. You can literally make him again and then draw even more cards. It's absolutely insane. But let's just do another, uh, another quick test hand to see how you guys can see how the U-Bell stuff will work. All right, so let's do one more. It's got Throne, Space, Lotus, U-Bell, and Mist. That hand is actually pretty cracked. So what's the best way to start here? We can go, you could go Throne 
you could just make phantom now you might not really need to normal summon so you could lotus to see um well i mean lotus is gonna special you bell from the deck that's the only problem and since we're only playing one spirit that's the one reason why you should probably play it at two so let's just go ahead and start our turn with literally just contact fusing i like to summon phantom in the extra monster zone i don't know why especially when it comes to this deck i just kind of like doing that now i can just go ahead and start with engage neo space sending shadow mist grand mole and now we'll grab a polymerization as well as summoning spirit of neos yep. so summon spirit grab a polymerization uh, chain link one shadow mist chain link to spirit of neos we're gonna use spirit of neos to of course grab us access to neos fusion because that basically gives us a guaranteed another Neospatian in the graveyard. And then Shadow Mist. Since we have a normal summon, I guess we could grab Stratos or Vion just to dump another hero into the graveyard. Uh, yeah, you know, that actually, I think I kind of like that. Let's grab Vion, let's grab Vion. We will go Vion. We'll search Vion, normal summon the Vion. Use Vion's effect. We'll actually send Liquid Soldier to the grave. Send Liquid Soldier to the grave. And then use Vion's second effect. We'll banish Shadow Mist. Second copy of Polymerization. Now we'll use Neos tag himself out for himself. Then we'll fuse the Vion and the Neos together. Our sunrise sunrise will grab us miracle fusion then to thin out the deck a little bit more before we draw our cards let's activate nightmare throne use its effect add a spirit of you bell to our hand so that way we have our battle phase protection right there Or if, if we didn't need a normal Vion, we could have just grabbed Liquid Soldier, fused away, and then normal summon Lotus, so that way we had access to Pain. There's plenty of ways you can go about this, you guys. Uh, that's why it's a little difficult to think of your combos, because it's like, what kind of end board do you want? Because instead of me normal summoning Vion, I could have just searched Liquid, fused with the Neos, normal summon Lotus, use Lotus, get Spirit. Like, there's just so many ways you can go about it. That's what's really fun about this deck. There's just so many lines but let's just keep going with the way we're going we'll go miracle fusion here using the neos and the liquid soldier to make infernal rage liquid soldier chain link one infernal rage chain link two we're gonna grab our favorite contact then we're gonna draw two cards discard a card hopefully we can give us something that's gonna give us access to another neospatian monster fusion destiny and a U-Bell. So I was gonna discard the U-Bell. Uh, let's see, Infernal Rage, tag himself out. For Brave Neos. Then let's go Fusion Destinies. We'll send Plasma and we need the Neos that's in the deck. So we'll send our Spirit of Neos. Summon DPE. Now we'll go Neos Fusion. Sending away Mole and, I mean, uh, Dark Panther and Neos. So we might not be able to Cosmo Neos our opponent, but we can Nebula and we can still use Shining Neos Wingman, which is still pretty, pretty damn good if you ask me. So there goes Dark Neos. We'll use his effect negate himself so that way he can stay on the board. And then we can set favorite contact and call it a day. So, I mean, unfortunately we couldn't get Cosmo Neos there. But if we were able to get Cosmo Neos, I mean, you're sitting on... You got a Spirit of Bell in your hand. A Sunrise. A Brave Neos who's sitting at a pretty decent amount of attack. DPE. They still got to deal with this negate with Phantom Bell. 
Unfortunately, we didn't have access to getting the Nightmare Pain, but that's absolutely fine. It was like I said before, instead of normal summoning Vion, I could have just grabbed Liquid Soldier and then, you know, had access to just normal summoning Lotus. But it is what it is, you guys. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this, if you guys need a little bit more thorough explanation of cards, uh, please just say it in the comment section below. Or if you guys want me to go in more depth with this deck, I'll be glad to talk about it even more. Make more videos on it. If you want to just have more fun with this deck, try it out yourself. Uh, maybe even throw some extra cards in there that you might think might be good. Kind of like Cross Keeper. I mean, I thought about Cross Keeper, but it just doesn't really do anything for you unless you already have access to like Spatians or Heroes in your hand. So I'd rather just have the cards that I can at least be for sure that I know I'm going to be able to um, combo with. But yeah, as far as DPE goes, even as saying that, yeah, Plasma and Fusion Destiny is really like your only way to get access to DPE. Uh, maybe with favorite contact if you had plasma on the field and it somehow lost got lost off the field because uh, sometimes you might want to make plasma way more than dpe but anyway you guys this has been your boy train wolf and i will see you guys